I'm at my I'm at my house. I'm editing this VHS tape, and then Nick and Samir came over, and uh, Nick was sitting there. He goes, "What are you doing?" I said, "Do Magic Johnson." He's got this talk show. Wow. I'm so young. Yeah, Nick's yeah. Like he owned it. Though. He owned it. This is he Nick's excited. 17. I'm like 22, 23, and I'm like, yo, you got this, you know. And then Nick goes, yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna do stand up. I said, you should, bro. <laughs> We on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. In the 90s, would you hang with a lot of brothers? Why did you end up just, your crowd became That's a black I crowd. I wanted to know that. Oh, well, yes. that, that, that happened crazy because, I, like I said, I was calling all these clubs in LA. Okay. Couldn't get up. And then, same with San Diego. Okay. We had the comedy store in La Jolla. I couldn't get up there. A couple black guys I was in the Navy with started telling me, hey, they do, they do comedy at this night, this night, yeah, but it yeah, was yeah. on the hood. Yeah. So I had to go to the hood. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, and once I start going there, Starting going to, you know, you meet the other comedians. Yeah, right. yeah. And then, then I started like, oh, I just need a stage. So, and then I started doing my own thing, like, like the karaoke bar, El Torito's yeah, yeah. in San Diego. And then, then we had a nightclub called Mr. O's. I started a Wednesday night there. And that's where, that's the first time Nick Cannon ever went yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. You man, O's. that's hard. And you seen him? San Diego. You seen him? Yeah, I was there. You was the one, did you, you, he came up behind you or something? No, he was in a rap group called The Bomb Squad, <laughs> right? And I did a contest. They said, it was a hip hop place called Z90. They said, we're looking for the funniest black comedian in San Diego. So I entered and I won it. And then Nick was in a rap group with another group. Dude, and he had this manager named Samir Toma. Okay. And Samir came up and was like, yeah, we know we, we know Guy Tory at Fat Tuesdays. He goes, and I got this rap group, and they performed there. So the first time Nick went up to L.A., he was rapping at a comedy show. Okay. And then, I'll never forget, Magic Johnson had this talk show, very short-lived, called The Magic Hour. I Now I'm going to L.A. a lot. And um, Magic came to see me one night, and they said, hey, I had a meeting with him. And then he was going to see if I could be his co-host, mm -hmm. which I wasn't ready. Look, at, he, they ended up picking Craig Shoemaker, which was the good move. I, I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm at my I'm at my house. I'm editing this VHS tape. And then Nick and Samir came over and uh, Nick was sitting there. He goes, what are you doing? I said, do Magic Johnson. Mm. He's got this talk show. Wow. I'm so young. Yeah, yeah. Like he owned it, though. He owned it. This is he's excited. Excited. I'm like 22, 23. And I'm like, yo, you got this, you know? and then Nick goes, yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna do stand up. I said, You should, bro. You should. And then the first time you ever went on stage, uh, I don't wanna say the first time, but one of the first times at Mr. O's, I'll never forget. He goes up there and he's, he was doing other people's jokes. And we were in the parking lot. I said, Nick, you can't do that. That was like, like let's say I'm making up names. Yeah. That was like, that was, that was Earthquake joke. That was Cedric's joke. Yeah, he, goes, yeah. he, goes, he goes, It's uncomfortable for you. He goes, Yeah, that's where I saw it. <laughs> so he didn't do it he out didn't. of malice. He, or did. he didn't know. He, he thought, did. I saw something funny. I, I was saying it on stage. Yeah. So there's a difference between like out and out still. He didn't know. I said, You gotta write your own shit. <laughs> he was like, Oh, all right. Cause I didn't know. He goes, yeah, it was so innocent. He goes, yeah, that's where I saw it. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 you can't do somebody else's joke. But he kills it, right? He does. He, he, he got his thing. Yeah, then, yeah. then he got. Then he, you know, he did the Bay Area Black Comedy Competition, and that's really where he he took off after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was, I was, I remember I was at the competition. We were in the semis, and you know, Diz, that's when real talent execs would show up yeah. for some of these contests. Yeah. So there were some Disney execs there, and then next thing you know, he was doing a warm up for Keenan and Cal, and then he's on Nick and Knight, and now he's- Things start to resurface, is. like that N-word uh, joke. I, I was just about to ask <laughs> on, Like the N-word, I don't, you know, the way that joke, you, like you, you, I think it was like a few months ago, it might yeah, have been. Yeah, he spoke and all about of a sudden, it. I don't know if you spoke about it or not. I thought it just resurfaced, because the internet would kick some stuff back up, too. Yeah. So was it a thing where you start talking about it again, or did it happen at a comedy club? The N-word? Yeah, the, 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 the joke. It's where I bring the guy on stage? Yeah, yeah. Right, you did that on Yeah, the stage. I did that on one of my specials. Right. So I did it on True Story back in 2011. We recorded that. That's really? what I was thinking. I just saw I'm it. I'm resurfaced, I'm telling well, you. Yeah, I might have resurfaced, but after I did it, there was a show on Showtime called Chocolate Sundays. Okay. And they turned it into a sketch, basically. And I was livid. Yeah. Because I don't ever out and out accuse people of stealing stuff, but I go, all right, they stole that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I've seen it now. I've seen it on different TikTok videos right. and variations right. of I'm it. I'm telling you. That's how, it that's how it came about was I was on stage. I was at Monday nights, which was D-Ray's night. Yeah, shout out D-Ray. D-Ray's got, yeah. got, yeah. got a video of me. He's doing it for the first time. Somebody actually videotaped on like camcorder. Wow. And 
that I was getting a heckler, and I'm going back and forth with the heckler, and I just finally went, I went, man, if I was black, I would call you the N-word <laughs> right now, but I'm not allowed. And the old crowd goes, man, you can say that shit. <laughs> say that shit. You got to get my ass kicked. <laughs> and I'm going back and forth, and they go, man, bring somebody up to say it for you. I said, D-Ray, will you say it for me? <laughs> D-Ray walked on stage, and that's where the joke was wow, born, right wow. there. Because I was like, I was like, fuck you. D-Ray would say it, right? <laughs> that's where the joke was Damn. born. That's where it came about. And uh, and then, so when Chalk of Sundays did it, I was like, I never forget, I, I called Pookie Winnie Wigginton, who's, he was running Chalk of Sundays. I said, Pookie, I'm not blaming you. I just need to know who wrote it. So I know where to, to direct my frustration. And then he, he couldn't give me a name. That's when I went, oh, somebody, I don't know, somebody took it. Somebody wow, took it. Wow, that's crazy. But it's what it is. Wow. That's crazy. So, um, but once you started coming up and you started um, having the black crowd, did you any get any backlash from any of your audience for doing certain jokes? No, I was very careful how far to push the envelope without going too far. Mm -hmm. I think man, that's just, you got to know. That's one thing you got to do. You got to know your audience. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're all different. It's no different right. than I do. I did Megafest. Right. I knew, okay, I'm not going to talk about this at Megafest. You know what I mean? As long as you know ahead of time. You just gotta know your audience. You gotta read the room. Every wow. room's different. Sometimes you get on stage, you're like, oh, they don't, they don't want that. Yeah. Corporate gigs are like that. The corporate gigs, they'll tell you, nah, we, we want we want the rough, rugged, and raw. Then when you give them the rough, rugged, and raw, they're like, what? What'd you do that for? Mm -hmm. I was what like, what are you just sewing to? What haven't you done yet that that would be the pinnacle of your career that is like, that's what I wanna do? I haven't, I don't think you ever reached the pinnacle. I think if you win an Oscar, you wanna win another Oscar. If you sell 10,000 tickets, you wanna sell 11,000 tickets. So you never reach the pinnacle. Um, there are things like I would like, like obviously I, I, I think Netflix is the thing right now. So yeah, that, that's, that's a nut I haven't cracked, so to speak. They always mm -hmm. say no. Um, Why would they so, say no to you? You got me, <laughs> you got me on that one. See the, la the, la the last thing they, the last conversation I had with Netflix, because I got two specials in the can right now. We're gonna just release them on YouTube. Wow. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna release them myself and see where it goes. Cause I did, I literally got two. I got one called Broken Family and one called Gary Owen No S, cause everybody puts S on my name. Like, right. you right. did right when I got it. Yeah, I know, I know. So, make sure and you, I read make sure it, you got I the read it. Make sure you got the subtitles, it's Owen. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, took you, you, put no you took the S off. Yeah. Oh, so you used to be? Yes. Oh. You have to when you Why? become a SAG member. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. There's just like there's Vanessa Wade and Vanessa Okay, yeah. you know what I mean. You can't like Tom Cruise is not Tom Cruise. Okay. There's yeah. a lot of people that uh, yeah. Jamie Fox is not Jamie Fox. That's right. right. You know what I right. mean. Right. Right. You got to change your name a little bit. So my real name is Shabazz Muhammad. What? Well, uh, right. No, get yeah. the hell that's out of here! No, you. Whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. Whatever. <laughs> that's what biological name. So that daddy that wasn't around? Yeah, yeah. He was at the nation. Man, you, you he was at a mosque. I'm not messing with you, Gary. I'm man. like, dude, you're not gonna go to my basketball game? <laughs> I'm praying, son. Okay, hey, so. man, thank when you. Hold on, when you're in a relationship, how hard is it for a female to take you serious? I don't know. I don't think comedians are the best people to be in relationships. No, no, We're not no, the easiest. No. Yeah, because it's like, I can imagine she'd be like, I'm trying to be serious right now. Can you stop joking around? But, but the problem is, we're not always serious and we are so set in our ways. Like I know I'm not the easiest person to live with, man. <laughs> I know it. I'm not I'm not an asshole. I'm not mean. I'm just I'm not the easiest. You gotta you gotta think. Like as comedians for for where I'm at. I'm on the road three days out of the week mm -hmm. and I'm staying at nice hotels, make a phone call, they come and clean your room up you go to the comic club i want this to drink they go and get it i want this to eat they go and get it and then you come home and you're just if you're with somebody like yeah i really like this eh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's going on right now i want to no i want a sandwich yeah 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 <laughs> like i'm busy She'd be like, what? Well, you can go to the kitchen go get yeah, it exactly i'm like this what, what the, the funny bone in virginia beats they got a sandwich <laughs> Oh, damn. I mean, it's, it's, it's real. It's truth. Yeah, you yeah. Know what that's mean? why he always mess with everybody and all his friends. Like, that's why you should get a girl from overseas. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I've yeah, heard. Yeah, I've heard. I always got to yeah, get one yeah. from overseas. Yeah, you bring that. them in like I did. I brought her all the way over here. You did not that's bring them in. You met her in Terrell, Texas. Thank, Thank you. Let it go, Thank man. You. I'm trying to let my cousin. How long were you here when you met him? How long had you lived in the city? Less than a year. It wasn't long. It wasn't long. It wasn't long. Pulled up a Nissan Maxima. That's your car? No, it was an Altima. Altima. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.